Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the iPhone 11 and I wanted to do review in 2024. Now in 2024, the iPhone 11 still remains a compelling option for those looking for a balance of performance and features. Despite being a few years old, the iPhone 11 holds up well in many aspects, making it a solid choice for budget conscious consumers of those who prefer a more compact device compared to the newer, larger devices. Now let's go over the design first. Now on the bottom, we have that light lightning port for charging, couple speakers. Uh, then on this side, we have the power lock button. Here we also have the SIM card slot, not SD card expansion like with any iPhones. And then on this side, we have that Apple's mute switch, and then we have volume rockers. Now behind the phone, we have dual cameras with the flash. I decided to go with the product red. I did have the iPhone 11 in black and also had it in white, but I think the uh, product red, of course, looks the best. Now when it comes to the overall design and the display, the iPhone 11 does feature a 6.1 inch liquid retina HD display with true tone and white color sport. While it doesn't offer the higher refresh rates or resolution of the newer model, the display is still vibrant and sharp, providing a pleasant viewing experience for everyday use, including browsing social media and watching videos. The phone does retain the glass front and back with an aluminum frame, uh, giving it a premium feel. Now, I definitely recommend getting the case because if you do drop this on cement it will most likely shatter so definitely get a case and protect this beautiful phone now when it comes to the resolution this phone does have a bit of a I would say older resolution. It comes with 1792 times 828 pixels, 229 ratio, 324 pixels per inch. This is IPS LCD, 625 nits of brightness. And when I say older resolution, I do have the iPhone 12. Now there's a big differences between this, even though they were released a year apart, now the iPhone 12 does have a much better resolution and also has a LED display. Now when it comes to the resolution, the iPhone 12 does have 2532 times 1170 pixels, 457 pixels per inch. Now let me show you both of them up close. Uh, the reason I'm doing that because on the paper, you definitely notice the difference. I mean, just OLED versus IPS alone, it's a big difference. But uh, when it comes to day-to-day -day use, Honestly, I don't notice that much of a difference. Yes, the iPhone 12 does have better display, but uh, if you're doing social media, Facebook, YouTube, stuff like that, you're not go going to notice a huge difference between the two. Uh, so you might think iPhone 11, because of that resolution and you know lack of OLED display, might not be a good phone, but you will be wrong because this phone still has a very amazing display. When it comes to performance, the iPhone 11 is powered by 813 Bionic chip. The iPhone 11 delivers excellent performance even by today's standards. Apps launch quickly, multitasking smooth and efficient. The 813 chip also enables impressive gaming experience handling even the most demanding games with ease. This phone also does come with 4 gigabytes of RAM. When it comes to storage, it starts with 64 gigabytes, then it goes up 128, 256 and so on. So 813 chip four gigabytes of RAM. I did end up playing quite a lot of games on this phone. Also, I do a lot of Spotify, Facebook, WhatsApp, Pandora, stuff like that. A lot of browsing as well. And this phone performs excellent. I never ever have any issues with this phone. It never freezes. It never lags. It just has a really amazing performance. Now, when it comes to the software and updates, the iPhone 11 launched with iOS 13 and has received several major updates since then. As of 2024, it is compatible with the latest version of iOS, ensuring the users have access to the latest features, security updates, and app compatibility. I do have the some of the older iPhones, iPhone XR, which is a year older, and that will receive the latest updates as well. So I can honestly say it will receive at least two more years of the updates. Now, when it comes to the cameras, the iPhone 11 sports a dual camera system consisting of 12 megapixel wide and ultra wide lens. Well, it does lack some of the advanced features found in newer phones, such as night mode on the ultra wide camera. The iPhone 11 still 
captures impressive photos and videos in worries lighting condition. The front facing true camera depth enables face ID uh, for secure unlocking and supports features like Animoji and Mimoji. One of the standout features of the iPhone 11 is its excellent battery life. When medium use, the phone can easily last a full day on a single charge. The 813 chip's efficiency combined with iOS optimization ensures that you can rely on the iPhone 11 to get you through the day without constantly worrying about charging. From my experience, I would get a full day if I'm using a medium to heavy use. If I'm using it just occasionally, I can easily get two days of battery life. But if I do end up using it heavily, meaning I do end up doing few 4K recordings, then I would need to top it off. So again, depends how much you end up using the phone. But I would say for most people, you can easily get a day of battery life. So overall, the iPhone 11 remains a solid choice for those looking for a reliable and capable smartphone without breaking the bank. While it may lack some of the bells and whistles of a newer models, its combination of performance, camera quality, and battery life make it a compelling option, especially for users who prioritize value and longevity in their devices. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.